Okay, here we have a little Sunstrom mini pump. Uh, this one uh, locked up. And we're going to take a look, see inside, and see what we find in here. These pumps, uh, the mini pumps run at 3450 RPM. The older pumps run at 1750. Uh, and they were heavier made. They would survive things these pumps won't. Now, I get this cover off. You can see inside this thing, it's had water in it and assorted garbage. It's pretty ugly. Uh, this is a screen, or kind of what's left of a screen. Uh, it's still clear. Uh, most of these pumps have some sort of screen inside them. Now here is, the pump itself is under here. You can see the situation we've got. Uh, just gobs of dirt and water in this thing. The itself is uh, locked up. There's no way this pump's going to run again. Uh, there's a little bleeder there in the bottom, so that was a single line setup. Uh, you can attempt fixing these pumps, but it's really not worth it. Uh, I would replace the pump, uh, and if it just happened to be on a conventional style burner, I think I would uh, replace the entire burner. But you can see what happens when you've got dirty oil. It's got water in it, had sludge in it. Uh, even though you had the screen here, and the screen isn't completely plugged, it let enough stuff by that the uh, pump was uh, just failed. This is a lot of times what you're going to see in some of these uh, oil furnaces. Many of these things are old enough that uh, they're just not, uh, there's just been uh, too much water under the bridge, so to speak, to make these things continue to run. Uh, this side here is the shaft. That's the drive shaft for it. Fits into a coupler that comes off of the uh, motor. And what this one did is lock up and the motor went out on the uh, manual reset limit. So here we have a dead pump and again that screen. Uh, those screens should be taken out probably every two to three years uh, and uh, thoroughly cleaned and there's got to be a new gasket put on it. Uh, a lot of these things, a little tough to find gaskets anymore. I'm sure they're available, but uh, uh, I've used silicone and I have not had any trouble with it. So, whatever works.